guys see the Transformers uh, review. Transformers, I'm used to saying Cybertron. Uh, just Transformers the movie. Uh, Transformers the review. Here we have Transformers the movie, all spark powered landmine. So, this is landmine. I'm sorry. Uh, my wheels seem to be broken. They're leaning in like that. They've never done that before. How weird. So uh, this is Landmine. Um, he's, he's he was seen in the movie. Uh, he's uh, the uh, U.S. Army vehicle that they use near the end before the really big fight in the city. So I guess I'll show off some detailing. Uh, car door. We have S7. That stands for Sector Seven, and then we have a cube. The Sector Seven, of course, is uh, you know the place they were in. Fifty-two. I guess that's the number. Uh, on the front, we have another S7, S7, and we have an Autobot sign, very good detail. And uh, on the roof, we have a 52, and if we move his gun, an S7. <laughs> uh, other side, same thing, 52, S7. At the back, there's that too, but on this side, it says Unit G2G534, I guess that's the product number, or something and then a US flag so that's landmine um, good detail put into this figure I like it a lot I'm really glad I bought it at TFCon um, his gun is really cool it's a grenade type launcher thing it can rotate all the way around uh, there's this little spot where a miniature person I guess if you ever found one could sit in uh, there's seats inside which is always really cool when you're dealing with a movie finger, translucent windows and uh, if you can see, I think you can see that there's a steering wheel right there but yeah, headlights are silver, backlights are backlight color not a showing on the bottom though so that's landmine, uh, we'll size comparison before we get to transforming him we'll throw bumblebee beside him and uh, also all spark powered wreckade I don't know, I got the name wrong. I'll have to research that name before I do the review. But anyways, that's your size comparison. So, let's transform him. Yay! Uh, first thing you want to do, just take off the gun. You know, it, it's, it's a lot easier in my point of view. Alright, so now that we get to the difficult part of actually transforming him. Open up the doors like that alright now as you can see the door is holding in the wheels by that tab right there so if we unhook the tab the wheel springs all the way in it's the wheels out because of the tab if let go of the tab the wheel goes in alright so that's that's what you do it's it moves in it's sort I guess you could call it automorph I don't know I don't really think there's much automorph on this guy so anyways, open up the doors, keep them around like that, and when you open them up, the seats will come with you. Just that, you should know that for you first timers. Take the legs, or the whole back part, uh, move these up, that's pretty cool. Take these, extend the legs straight, alright? These will become really loose if you push them all the way in. They don't lock in. Right. Separate the legs. Take the take these barrel things and push them down like that to make feet. All right. These are gonna tab in like that. All right. So we'll do the same for this side. So it tabs in like that. All right. So now we have the feet done, and you can stand. Last thing you're gonna uh, what you're gonna do is take the whole front section, move it down. As you're moving it down, uh, you might you're gonna wanna move the arms so they can go down. And mine's getting stuck. I don't know why. I think it's because of the head. Yep, it was because of the head. Move it all the way down. All right, you should have something that looks like that. All right. Now you're almost done. Take the panel that's like that. Push it forward, take the head, push that forward.
take his arms, rotate it, like that. Take the seat, the, the seat, push in the finger, and extend the fingers like that. Alright, and then you can make a fist if you want. I make a fist with mine. Alright, so now we can see we have fully posable fingers on him. So, uh, sorry, I'm messing around with my, uh, zoom in. So now we know he has fully posable fingers. Well, not fully, you know. Do the other side with the fingers. Alright. So make him into a fist. Alright. Stand him up. And yeah. So this is Landmine in his robot mode. It's a, it's a really good robot mode. I, I, I love it a lot. Uh, uh, there's a, there's a, some uh, all spark powered coloring right there on the inside, see? There's blue on his legs. There's blue there and his penis. There's some blue there. Um, if we move up, we get some of that blue right there on his arm. And, and if we move closer up to his head, we can see there's some blue on his head. All right. So that's a landmine. It's a really good toy. Um, I really like them. If you see them in the stores, absolutely get them. Uh, his gun can fit in his hands. I, me, myself, and I just haven't actually discovered how he can hold it. So I just mount mine over like that. It's a shoulder cannon that shoots rockets. So we'll do articulation right now. Feet. Move like that. Bends at the knee. Rotates like so uh, no waist articulation no body articulation head can go that far arms have full articulation it bends at the elbow it can rotate but I don't want to and the hands are very unique they they have articulation so yeah that's uh, landmines articulation and overall, a really great toy. If you if you if you see him, like I said, uh, get him. He's uh, it's actually really one of the keepers that you're gonna want for your collection if you are a Transformers fan. If you are, then uh, you know, like I said, get Landmine. Um, he's really good. He's nice and sturdy. He stands up. He's fairly good. I don't know. I wouldn't say he stands up 100%. You know, every Transformer has those flaws where they're hard to stand up. But, yeah. Alright, so now we're going to size comparison in a robot mode before we leave. Blackout. And Rec 8 or whatever his name is. I don't know. Zoom out. Alright, there are my guys. There's my size comparison. Uh, I hope you all have a good day. Goodbye.